This video effect feels like the intro to a mysterious movie. Are you interested in creating this amazing effect? Then let's dive into Flimora to see how we can easily create this creative effect floating text behind the cargo ship. Inside the timeline, we have cargo ship footage recorded by a drone. This type of cinematic footage is essential for creating effects like text behind the objects. Masking is the first step in this tutorial. We are gonna draw marks around the ship. To make this process easier, we need to duplicate the video clip. Hold down the Alter key, then grab and drag the footage to the upper layer. After that, ensure the time indicator is positioned at the end of the video or on a frame where the ship or object is fully visible. This is important for completing the masking process. Next, to access the masking options, double click on the video in the upper layer. You instantly see the tab for video adjustments on the left or right side depending on your layout. Navigate to the video tab and expand the max option. AI Max, a new feature in Flimora, is available for quicker and easier masking. However, since we'll be drawing a simple max, so we'll use the pen tool for traditional manual masking. After selecting the pen tool, draw a max around the ship or object you want to isolate. It doesn't need to be perfect, just take your time and create a rough outline around the ship. Once the mask is drawn, we are ready to animate it. First, set a keyframe at the current frame where the max is complete. Go back to the max options and click this small diamond icon to add a keyframe. Keyframes allow us to animate and adjust the max over the time defining the different positions at specific moments. Next, move to the first frame of the video to add another keyframe. If you are wondering why the max is not visible, it's because the duplicated copy of the footage on the underneath layer is hiding it. Simply turn off the visibility of the underneath uh, video by clicking on the eye icon. Now active the mask points by clicking on the player monitor and drag the mask to align with the ship's positions in the first frame of the video. As the ship's position has changed, you'll notice that another keyframe is automatically added at the time indicator's position. Scrub through the timeline with the time indicator to preview the masking animation. This simple animation is achieved with just two keyframes. For complex footage, you need additional keyframes to refine the mask. Once the masking and animation are complete, you can unhide the underneath layer video in the timeline. Let's move to the next step, adding the text between two video layers. To do this, click on the T icon which is essentially the type tool and select quick text. After that, a new text layer will appear on the timeline. If the text layer is placed in a different position, simply move it between two video layers. To edit text, double click on it to active the text editing mode. Under the basic tab, you find options to customize the text. For example, I am typing mysterious and adding spaces between each letter to give it a cinematic title look. You see the changes reflected in the player monitor. Next, you can choose a font that works best for the floating text animation. Click on the bold to apply it to the selected text if needed. Then scroll down to the transform parameters to adjust the text. Let's increase the text size to enhance its appearance. Now back to the timeline, move the text layer to the beginning and extend its duration to align with two video clips. When you play the video using the time indicator, you notice the text seamlessly going behind the cargo ship. In these steps, we create a simple animation for the text to make it float and following the water's flow. Before we begin, let me introduce you to the new features of Flimora 14. Undershare Flimora is a very user-friendly video editing software, making it an excellent tool for beginners. Its new features include Flimora Copilot 2.0, Planar tracking, AI voice enhancer, a sound effects generator, and multi camera editing, which I have covered in a previous video. These features are designed to streamline the editing process for users at all levels for beginners to advanced editors. For more details, follow the link in the video description. Now let's animate the text by setting the first keyframe. Move the time indicator to the beginning of the timeline, then click on the position icon to set the first keyframe, which will appear at the first frame of the text layer. Adjust the X and Y positions of the text to move it to the upper right corner of the video frame. Here X controls the horizontal position and Y controls the vertical position. Next, set the second keyframe, move the time indicator to the end of the timeline, set another keyframe at the last frame of the text layer. Adjust the values of these keyframes to move the text slightly to the lower left area of the frame, creating the effect of the text floating with the water's flow. Once the keyframes are set, play back the video to preview the animation. The animation looks good, but the masking area around the cargo ship appears too sharp. Don't worry, we can fix it easily.
double click on the masking video layer in the timeline expand the marks options by clicking on it go to the extend settings and adjust its value increasing the blur strength by sliding the slider to the right and observe the changes on the preview monitor next adjust the extend parameter again to the further soften the marks edges when everything looks good play back the video again from beginning to see the title animations behind the ship The web effect is the final step in this tutorial that gives the text a web-like appearance, making it seem as it's blending with the water waves. To apply these effects, first ensure that no layers are selected by clicking on the blank area of the timeline. Then navigate to the effects tab, expand the video effects section, and you'll find the web effect under the shake category. Search for the mini web effect or any similar effects that works well for creating the turbulent look. For example, you can apply MinoWave effect to the text, however, there is an issue. You can't apply the effect directly to the text layer, so first you need to compound the text layer. To do this, right click on the text and select creating compound clip. You can name the compound clip as you wish, then hit OK to confirm. The compound clip will also appear in the media bin. Now go back to the effects tab, grab the mini web effect and drag it onto the text layer on the timeline. After applying the effect, you'll notice the text shape changes to a web-like form. Play back the video to observe the effect. It looks great but it might look even better if you reduce the speed of the effect. To do this double click on the text or title layer to open the effect controls tab. Adjust the setting of the mini web effect as follows. Set variance to around 20, size to 80, number to 40 and speed to around 30. Finally click OK to confirm new settings. Now play back the video to see how the effect looks after the changes. Next we blend the text to make it blending with the water. Double click on the text layer again and go to the video settings tab. Under basic find the blending option and click on the drop down icon to expand the blending modes. Scroll down and choose the blending mode that best suits your text. Overlay is usually a good choice in this case, so let's select it. Instead, you see its impact in the player monitor. To make it better, you can adjust the opacity as needed. Once you are satisfied with the settings, click the full screen icon and play back the video again to view the final effect. I hope you enjoyed this creative text behind the object tutorial in Flimora. More tutorials on Flimora 14 are coming soon so stay tuned. And check out the video description for more details about Flimora.